Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Jessie Fest Weekly Dev Team Sync Up that happens every week because it's a weekly. Uh, as usual, let's just go through the everyone's updates. What what people got done last week, what people got blocked, and what people are planning to do next. Um, I believe there's a couple of questions or other notes uh, next for today as well. So let's make sure to save some time for those. Cool, so I'll just go first since I'm like the first on the list. Um, my update is, well, did a lot of PR reviews, merges and releases. I did my waffle grooming. Did people like check waffle and like web of issues last week? Can I get a thumbs up just quick? I see some heads nodding. Well, there's a lot of issues. Um, I also made some progress on the awesome DHT endeavor. Like there, like essentially, it's a large beast that has to be like tackled piece by piece. And like some new pull requests to multiple building blocks of IPFS have been made. Some of them emerged. Uh, some new tests were created. Uh, actually, found an ACAP on GoIPFS HTTPI as well that has been reported. So good things. Still a lot of work to go. Um, I opened an issue about integration testing exploration. Like we, we need to level up our game on integration testing. Uh, check the IPFest notes issue number 294 uh, if you have some comments on that. Um, and I got back to like the big refactor of Leap Europe here, the Leap Europe Next. That's the, the, the next thing I'm going to be focused on in order to get the DHT on JSIPFS. There, there's like some moving parts and like there is a plan. You can like check the issue that's linked here if you want to know more about it. I'm blocked in one thing, which is I need um, an API call, a DAG get to be able to retrieve like an array of seeds and not just like one. Uh, otherwise, like the Unix FS engine cannot like tell bit swap that hey like this group of seeds are all part of the same file and because they are all part of the same file please just do one dht query not like a thousand because probably there is a huge um probability that like the person the node that will have one block of that file will also have the other ones and so there's like some some heuristics there that GoIPFS has been using to just like avoid like bursting the DHT um, that we need to do as well and we need that API call. And so as I said, like my like my focus for this week and like this week my time will be limited. So like I, I really want to like close myself and I just focus on one thing and I like just finish, which is this config refactor on only peer-to-peer -peer, uh, so that we get it done. Um, but that is it for me. Any questions for I don't see any ends. All right, cool. Thank you. Uh, let's go to Alan, who is next. Hi. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, so last week was. Um, Oh yeah, so uh, I was pairing with Oli to uh, track down this uh, error, which I think has been around for a while, um, but we were running into it, and I think it was reported more recently as well, but it was an already piped error, um, and it was to do with like, um, libp, uh, sorry, libp to be switch, um, and it was in there somewhere. Uh, it's quite, quite difficult to follow that piece of code, but I think there's refactor kind of planned for it anyway. Uh, um, we eventually kind of got to the bottom of that, um, but then I think um, that will that I will I won't actually get into. Like I don't think we can release a uh, patch release of IPFS to get that because I think uh, libp2p is already like a minor release uh, behind. Uh, behind what's already there and lib p2p is what depends on the p2p switch so that would will probably not make it into it until 0 30 so um but it's nice to know that that's kind of um fixed and in and ready to to roll basically uh why is that like i don't think any there is a breaking change on the api is it we can... no it is not um but lib p2p is already on i think we so I think IPFS depends on 0.39, I think, of libp2p, and so 0.40.2 uh, 
two, I think it is, is the one that that now has the fix for the P2P switch. Mm-hmm. Um, so, well, okay. I, granted, I don't know what the uh, because it's they're minor releases. Uh, I didn't I didn't know if there was going to be breaking changes between zero thirty nine and forty on lib P two P that shouldn't make it into a patch release for IPFS. Um, if there's no, if if it's just a patch release, the the if it's a release that we can do without any breaking changes, then then I'd definitely try and get it in as soon as possible. But um, yeah, it's a good point. Um, I, I'd have to have a look at that or um, ask someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Like definitely tests, like the interrupt tests and the unit tests and yeah. other tests. The thing when we do like sometimes we don't change the API, so there is no breaking change, but we do a minor release because we are trying to hide all of the other internal modules that have been released with minor. Right. So it's kind of like just keeping the users from like suddenly taking yeah. like a new EP to peer on their current IPFS installations. Uh, uh, so as long, as long as there's no actual breaking change in there, then we could release it as a patch. Yeah, totally. Cool. Uh, Jacob, you had a question? Yeah, I just want to say, so the release of 40 was included the, the, the base refactor for Switch. And I'm currently testing, there was a release of W. Sorry, you're cutting out a little bit, Alan. Um, there was a release of W star that's causing an issue with the switch tests. I'll check that out then. Um, and so I'm currently doing testing against the current version of lib P2P trying to cut an update to W star um, or cutting an update to switch for lib P2P so that we can update that in JSI PFS. So I'm looking at that right now and doing the testing. So once that's good to go, then I'll get pull request into lib P2P and then I can create a dependency pull request into JSI PFS. So I should be working on that this week. Sweet, thank you. That's like a cross update. Alan, do you think your connection will hold for the, okay. Are you still there, Alan? Uh, we cannot hear you now. Wing video to. I'll just get that uh, this week. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, can Can anyone hear me? Now we can. But like, okay. Okay. What? Just go, just go through your update. Okay, quickly, quickly. <laughs> uh, so uh, we did a whole bunch of kind of patch releases for JSIPFS after the 0920 release went out. Uh, so no 10 support went in. Uh, f- uh, some fixes for repo, ver- uh, repo version. This is all good work by other people. Um, uh, and then uh, we started the ball rolling for the next release uh, and also released JSIPFS API. Uh, um, yeah, and then basically a whole bunch more reviewing and commenting. Um, I'm not blocked on anything at the moment. Uh, next, I'm, uh, I'm well. I'm currently working on um, interface IPFS core test suite. I'm just I've, I've noticed a, a bunch of things that um, I would quite like to be resolved. Like the the tests are not quite as isolated as I would like. As in, you can't run just one of them without running tests before it, which is isn't great because it means that there's an implicit order of the tests that that has to be that, that has to happen but um and it just means that like if i ever want to run just one i i can't really do that um and yeah it, it just makes things a bit less easy to follow and understand so um, i wanted to address that but then i also noticed that um JSIPFS, there's some interface tests that are just not included because there are, like, we've got partial implementation of, so for example, the repo uh, repo um, com- commands. We've only got, like, uh, version and stat, but GC isn't currently implemented. So we're not testing any of that uh, using interface IPFS core. Um, so I would quite like to be able to test the commands that have been implemented. So I, I would quite like to address that. Um, and then also the kind of implementation specific checks that uh, are around, like with Go or not. And um, I'd quite like to resolve that. So I've been working on a pull request that would um, kind of hopefully resolve a lot of those issues. Um, and I've got an open PR 
it would be rad if people could have a quick look for it just to check on just to see what what i'm doing and see if they've got any like big um kind of problems with it or or like if the approach i'm taking is bad in any way um before i get through all of it <laughs> basically um would be cool because there's there's a lot to kind of do there but the the general pattern should be the same for each each module um or area so um i'm working on that um in the background um i will get around to reviewing the pin um api pr this week um, and I want to also work on some of the DAG API, the DAG API PR that I've got open for JS IPFS API, um, which was basically allowing DAG get to resolve any types other than uh, CBOR and Protobuf. Um, and that's me. I hope you heard all of that. Uh, and if not, then give me a shout afterwards, maybe. <laughs> yeah, we, we better to here. This is good. Thank you. Rad. Cool. Uh, uh, what is in your mind the expected date to release zero thirty? That's a good question. Uh, it uh, so it would be nice to do it in uh, the next two weeks. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, that's what my uh, expectation. As well. If I can, there's not a lot in there, but I still I but cool. Okay. Um, it would be nice to get it out quickly. Um, I still have to review the pin API. So I, I like, I'm hoping there's not, I know a lot of people have already had eyes on that. So I'm hoping that that's, there's not going to be any, you know, major problems or issues with that. So that that can hopefully go in quicker. Um, but yeah, that, that would be my ideal. Sounds good. Thank you so much for update. Any questions for Alan? Any other questions? I don't see any hands. Let's go to the next update. Zane. Cool. Yeah, so um, not too much to report. Um, still working on the pull streams. Kind of got distracted with other life stuff. Um, so now we're ready to get back on that track. Um, mostly just fixing tests so that way they're still compatible. So I was breaking Unix FS engine and started fixing those um, tests related to files. After that's done, I should be able to put out a PR and then we should be able to move forward. Um, and then I will need to add get pull stream as or get stream as a high level entry now for IPFS. Yep, that's it. Sounds good. I did review those PRs and I also made some comments. Yeah, awesome is good. Go for it. Okay. We, we <laughs> thank you. Um, <laughs> Next, we have Machi. Um, I've been mainly working on this uh, node trust module that I'm still working on. Slightly improved the demo, fixed some race conditions, and did some other um, cleanup in the module. Still hoping for it to eventually get used in libpdp. Um, and as the next thing, I will be working on making the rendezvous module less complicated because I heard um, that it seems a bit overly complicated, which I have to agree on because I can't read this code after a week and that's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, it's not that horrible, but yeah, I think I will just rewrite it. Sounds good, thank you. Uh, I also know that you are looking into like experimenting rendezvous and circuit with peer path, right? Um, I will get to that uh, once I have cleaned up uh, the rendezvous module. Sounds good. Any questions for Machi? Or for Zane, I totally forgot to ask if people have questions for Zane. All right, let's go continue. Uh, Alex. All right, so I've been uh, mostly in a Go interop hell um, for the last week, uh, trying to get Go and JS IPFS to do things like have the same hashes for um, you know simple data structures and that kind of thing. Uh, so I've got a bunch of open PRs against uh, Unix FS and Unix FS engine uh, and JS IPFS itself that should resolve these problems. I um, don't know how people feel about the kind of changing all the hashes of everything. It's kind of something that we uh, 
we all asked. We have to do the thing if we want it easier to make them do the right thing, if it might not be the right thing to start with. Uh, it's telling me my connection is unstable. Am I dropping out a lot? Uh, you, you did drop, but I think we got to the gist, which is some ashes are going to change. Um, and those ashes, like it doesn't mean that like the, all the ashes will stop resolving. It's more, there is like some nodes, some files, for example, empty files and so on, that will have um, a different ash once that fix is done. Yeah. Yeah, as long as no one's attached to any particular ashes, then it should be mm -hmm. okay. Like no one's had them tattooed on their bodies or anything. <laughs> as long as it resolves. Like the yeah. problem is not upgrading. The problem is like it should not break the old ones. No, no, it shouldn't do, no. Yeah, and so the, the, to make sure like we should have tests on each drop, make sure that the both work. Yeah, for sure. And the, the tedious thing is a lot of the tests depend on the hashes, the actual hash values as well. And they've only ever been tested with one implementation. And now it turns out that those hashes aren't actually correct. Mm -hmm. um, so that's one of the one of the PRs is mostly just changing hashes and tests. Um, well, so that's interesting. I found another problem in the we, we can have a race condition in the JS IPFS implementation whereby um, so we open the level DB as part of uh, the application boot up, we execute a command and then we tear it all down. But we don't actually wait for the command to finish executing before we tear down our connection to level DB. So we can actually pull the rug out from under the executing code, which is super tedious. Um, it's because Yargs doesn't wait for the handler to, to finish, basically. Um, so there's a there's a module that you can use to return a promise from a handler, which you can then wait for it to resolve. Uh, it would mean adding another dependency to JS IPFS. Um, I don't know if anyone's got any opinions on that. I think Hugo was like looking into that. Like he, he described that problem before. De definitely ping Google, like uh, on promises and error handling and CLI and making sure. Maybe, sorry, Hugo Diaz. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ugo, yeah. Sure. Ugo is not uh, here today, but you will come uh, back uh, tomorrow, so you can ping him tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. 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 Um, yeah. Something else that's interesting is uh, so level B DB doesn't have any notion of concurrent access. It's only ever supposed to be one thread that's accessing it. So if you were to spawn a bunch of web workers to do some IPFS work and they all change MFS, then it's a free for all on, on what the root node hash ends up being. Um, so I've implemented some locking uh, that works transparently in a single process and in a uh, node cluster um, because node cluster lets you eavesdrop on messages to all workers that are created, but web workers don't let you do that. Um, so you need to do a little bit of setup if you create web workers, uh, which is fine, I think. Um, the problem is that our web worker tests don't allow you to uh, grab the web worker from the main thread before the test starts executing. Um, so you can't perform that setup. So I've contacted the, the maintainer of the Karma mock web worker uh, library that is the thing that actually spawns these web workers and, and they said, yeah, this is easy to do. Um, you know, what's your use case? So there's going to be a bit of back and forth of that, but hopefully that should be fixed. But it is an external dependency that we should be aware of. Um, if that doesn't get, I'd really like to merge MFS by the end of the week, fundamentally. Um, so if it doesn't get resolved, I'm just going to turn off the concurrency stuff for the tests, for the web worker tests, uh, for better or for worse, because um, we can always add that stuff back in later. Like basically the only, the only thing that it kind of affects is, you know, the first thing that you do, you're like, oh, cool, I've got a bunch of files. I'm just going to like promise all or parallel you know, files dot add. And then the whole thing explodes because they're all rewriting the root nodes. Uh, wait, but that, wait, but it's like the files go into the block store, which is file system on nodes or is index DB on browser. And so you are saying that the level DB is the one with no, no current, current access. Yeah, so because you you make changes to the MFS and that trickles up to the root and that changes the hash. Got of the it. Root. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry, on the other sort. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, exactly. Okay, but you say that like we'll have MFS to test with things like IPFS, Blob Store, and others by the end of the week. Is that it? Is that it? That's what I'm hoping. Yeah. Sweet. That's what I'm aiming for. That's awesome. Okay. Can't wait to put the whole NPM on just IPFS. Um, cool.
So uh, we put GitHub on it instead because I think that's become more pressing. Uh, like we, yeah, we need to put GitHub on on IPFS instead. <laughs> Uh, we actually should talk with not Matchy Kruger, but Matchy, the other Matchy, I don't remember his last name, uh, that is doing interplanetary gate service through IPFS, IGIS. But, but yeah, we have just like eight minutes left. Uh, I can point you to the issue. It seems like you found a lot of issues, like a lot of problems. It would be great if those are cracked somewhere in some issue so that people are up to date. I'll throw them all on the, um, the notes for this meeting. Sweet. Okay, so Jacob. I know yeah, someone has more questions for Alex, sorry. I don't see hands. Okay, Jacob, go for it. So uh, the Node 10 updates are finished up. We finished those last week and that got released. There is one issue with GC stats, um, but that just affects monitoring if it's turned on. I'm watching that issue. Um, so once that gets updated, I'll work on getting that pulled into to JSIPFS so we can get monitoring fixed for that. Um, I also pushed up the base implementation of the private network repo. So that new repo's up and I have a poll open for that so people can watch it. That is pretty much there. It just needs, I need to fix the, I'm gonna need to do updates to multi codec so that I can read the new PSK multi codec. So that I'll update that as it goes. Um, and then I'll be working on updating the other repos to use the private network. Um, also got some releases out for libpdp switch last week. Um, those are mostly bug and testing stability updates. And then this week I'll also be looking at an issue with um, libpdp webrtc star, um, the latest release of that, which is breaking the libpdp tests. And I think it's also causing some issues with um, block. That's true. There's a block stream now. Essentially what happened, there is a block stream uh, filter to make sure that we don't throw a lot of data into WebRTC because WebRTC just throttles. Like if you start start buffering a lot of data, and apparently that block stream method never implemented a stream function that is necessarily called destroy. And so uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah, seven, yeah, um, is looking into that. I'm not sure if he's working on the fix, but he diagnosed the problem, and and essentially the the fix is like implementing the dot destroy so that that error doesn't get thrown. Um, but what it also means is like people, when that is all fixed, they should like see faster speeds uh, using WebRTC because things will not get clogged. That, that, that's going to be an improvement. On the private network, that's awesome. Like, so, um, by the way, like we need demos for all of these things. Like I, I keep, like people, I've re brought through doing this call, there's like a lot of features coming, like MFS, private networks. Uh, Make sure to like record a quick video, like when, when you like land it, just like record a quick video just to show everyone or just come to the all ends and, and show it. It's going to be awesome. Um, by the way, Jacob, are you working on interrupt tests for the private networks thing? Yeah, I will be doing the interrupt test for that. So. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, I don't think, you definitely shared a lot of updates. I think I made all my comments. Does anyone uh, has any other extra comment? Okay, no comments. Thank you so much. Uh, let's go to Vasco. Hey guys. Uh, so for the last week, uh, I finished the stats page of the service worker gateway. It is implemented and released. Uh, and uh, I also integrated it with uh, the GS or IPFS uh, website project that uh, is uh, currently being implemented. So the service worker gateway is already live in dev.gs.ipfs.io and you can try it if you want. Uh, then uh, I've, I've been uh, checking the GS IPFS DCTL and it is uh, green again, the CI, the CI. So finally we can. Uh, now merge another PRs. Uh, I have uh, uh, for this week. I also I will talk about it later. Uh, and uh, finally, I also implemented the, the GS. Oh uh, no, I integrated the GS IPFS HTTP response module in the GS IPFS. Uh, the PR is great. Uh, David already reviewed it. Uh, now Alan and I you have time. Let's check it. Uh, blocked. I'm not blocked right now. And uh, for this week, I want to have merged uh, 
other PRs that are currently in GS IPFS DCTL. Uh, one from Allen about uh, API, and one from Alex, and one from Gar. I want to try to have all them uh, merge this week. And uh, then I am also starting uh, the IPNS implementation. Uh, <laughs> regarding this, I have only one question, uh, probably for the vid. That's uh, uh, who should I ping for asking questions about it uh, more for the Go implementation? Uh, so, Jeremy would always be the best person, but like he's super, super busy. Uh, the second best person is Steven, we, who has like as much knowledge as Jeremy right now. Um, and so they can like fill you in in all of the Go IP details. I guess like Cole Brown, which is also in this call, is like working full time on Go with peer to peer. So, Cole, I don't know if you want to share a note on that. Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to just uh, say hello. <laughs> um, yeah, I am coming on board working full time on lib P2P, specifically go lib P2P. Uh, one of the things that I'm working on uh, this morning and we'll talk about on the lib P2P call is just getting a better ish or handle on like what issues are stagnating and uh, uh, which pull requests are sitting like kind of waiting merge and whatnot so that we can and then tidy things up and have a better idea of where everything is out. Um, yeah. Sounds good. Thank you so much. Uh, cool. Great to have you here. Maybe like it's good for you, Vasco, if you have the availability to go to the goalie peer to peer talk, uh, chat, which is after this one, right after this one. Uh, and just like bring up, like even that you're implementing IPNS, it would be great to get a spec through this implementation because then the Rust lib period also will need it. So let's use all of your questions to transform it to a, a document that other implementations can follow. All right. Sounds good? Yeah. Sounds good. All right, cool. Any, uh, I'm not sure, like, did you finish your update? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I finished this. All right, we are almost at the end of the time, but we still have one update left and a couple notes. So let's go to Rob. Where's Rob? Oh, yeah, here you go. Go ahead. All right, I'm in the dark. Um, I don't necessarily have anything like done or blocked to talk about relative to JSIPFS, um, but I did want to sort of bring up or ask about. I know we're kind of out of time, so there's maybe not a lot of time for discussion, but figure out when and where to have this discussion. Um, I saw on the all hands call. Uh, Vasco uh, demoed stuff that is now living in js.ipfs.io. Um, previous to that, that repo had been existing and totally empty for six months. It was marked for needs to be archived and deprecated, um, and now there's stuff there. Uh, so, and, and that also feeds into part of the goal of the doc site is to fix a major, new doc site is to fix a major problem we have, which is that various docs and examples and things are spread all over the place everywhere and it's hard to find them um, and we're adding a new place so uh, like I want to get a handle on what the situation with that is um, if we're necessarily definitely going forward with that how we need to make sure that it's linked from the doc site if so all of that sort of thing because um, because that immediately looked to me like something we, we need to make sure it's addressing because we're we're fragmenting rather than joining together when we need to be joining together. 100% agree. And it's just like, I think two parts. So the first part is the work that Vasco did with the service worker and js.ipfs.io is actually a new website. It's going to be the website of the JavaScript implementation that like lists like the features that like the JavaScript implementation has, like use cases, like demos and so on. And so uh, perhaps like you are talking about a different repo because this is like a, actually a very new code. Um, uh, but th that's like one thing, like your, okay. the, the thing that you pointed out is still very valid. Like there's a lot of repos, a lot of like strategies for docs. There are repos that have readmes, there are repos that have examples. There's like the docs on IPFS.io, which is just like docs for very simple things on GoIPFS. Um, and then there is an endeavor to add JS docs to all the modules, which never really like got finished. Um, and then there is also like this new endeavor that like is having flow. So we type supposedly you can like create better docs. So there's like, um, it's almost a race. And like the unfortunate thing is like no one is like really str like 
running to get there first. It's just like people are just like walking and like progressing very, very slowly in this race. Uh, and so I guess like we just like should get everyone on the same line and just like run the, the, the track together. Uh, as I think like that's what you're saying, like just defragment, get, get people focused. Um, from the jazz side, and, and I think I can speak for everyone, I, I would love just some direction, like tell us what is best because there is like so much things going on that like having someone doing the, the hard work of like, okay, there is JS docs, there is flow, there is readmes, there is the end. Yeah, like if you can tell us, given all these requirements, like this is the best solution. I think that like people can, can just like back you up and like support that uh, as an endeavor. Uh, otherwise, like if you need us to um, do a lot of discussion, it might take like more and more weeks um and, and so i don't know like if you if there is like some really big questions that you are not sure for sure well let's have discussion on those but but like coming up with a proposal like just saying okay uh the pad is getting flow to then get just docs to then like have a thing that compiles to the readme and compiles to a web page that can be the docs that i'll be and this is like just an, a possibility i'll be totally down to just like support that and it's like okay let, let's do it like let's let's all agree on this and like just let's finish one of the tracks. Does this make sense? Like, the, the, does this, I don't know, communicate everyone's opinion on the docs thing? Uh, am I misrepresenting it, anyone's perspective? Speak now. <laughs> or be silent. I totally or... agree. <laughs> okay, I, I okay. think having, having in general having a proposal for something is much easier to accept than asking a question and hoping that consensus will form um, people tend to know what they what they want when they're given a when they're giving something to look at they can then form an opinion about what's wrong about it or, or whatever so yeah um, that would be rad to just be like this is the way forward follow me or, or have oh, a uh, I've got to hop on to another uh, call, but this is something I've been thinking about a lot in the context of the Go project, and I would love to talk about it more uh, in the future. But uh, for now, uh, it was good to see all of y'all. Uh, I'll be around. Okay. okay. Thank you, Gold. Um, yeah, actually, the next call is the Go with peer to peer one. I can post here the link if you guys want to follow to that one. Um, but yeah, the, the, was this like an answer? Like, are you happy with this answer, Rob? Yeah, support? I mean, it, <laughs> if, if, if what you just need, need me to do is dictate a proposed solution, I can do that. Um, I was opening up with a question because I truly don't understand what the situation is, so I'm just trying wow. to get that. But if, if, if it really is just, uh, and you just need me to say, you should do this, then I can do that. Um, and it sounds like that's what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I like using Alan's words. Uh, it's better, like it's easier to adjust a proposal than trying to create a, com a proposal through committee. And, and given that there is like all these requirements that we we kind of like know, but like we haven't explicitly said them, which is the JavaScript community likes to look at readme's and likes to look at the module page on npm, and so. It is good to have a docs web page, but it's good to, like, to capture some information about each module on the readme as well. This is like a thing that has been written maybe a couple of times in some of the docs issues, but, but it is something that will be part of the proposal as soon as we get the proposal or someone will just like comment on the proposal and like say, okay, like, we need this to be a requirement to have the readme also um, with some of the information. Um, it's just like, Give us a skeleton, and then we'll like complete the rest of the, the the the, the thing. Um, and, and yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I will bug you separately about this JSIPFSIO thing, because um, I'm yeah I'm I'm a little bit confused about your answer, so we just gotta work that out. Okay. Yeah. Definitely ping me. Uh, the, what I was saying is that the, the work that Vasco is doing is for this website. I'm just posting here the, the URL, js.ipfs.io. And so this is new code. And if I understood you correctly, and maybe the connection just cut it a little bit, you said that this, like the work that Vasco is doing is to a deprecated repo. And what I'm saying is actually this is a new repo. And so like, I think like you are referencing an, a completely different repo. 
Uh, I am referencing the repo he did the work in. The repo has been around for seven months now, and for the six months, first six months of its life, it was completely empty. Um, and there have been a whole bunch of issues and posts about this, both in the initial research I did and on the docs website, um, asking if this belongs in the set of repos we're trying to deprecate so that there's a clear sense of what belongs where. That's what I was trying to say. Got it, got it. And I guess the confusion comes because I created a repo and then there's just like a initial commit and then the work actually happened like a month and a half ago. So you're- Yeah, uh, you're because there, there are a, a plethora of repos that are just empty um, and it's, it's really unclear and confusing to people what is going on when there's a repo that's been sitting there for months and there's just nothing in it. And there hasn't even, there's not discussion either. Like it's not a discussion repo, there's no issues. Got it, got it. Yeah, okay. So, so if it's a real life thing now, that's, that's fine. We just have to figure out where it belongs and how it gets linked up with the doc site. Um, cool, but like, I, I, I would just like to put, put forth that thing that this is a, a bigger issue that's yeah, happening bigger. across stuff and please pay attention to those discussions about those empty repos. Understood, understood. Thank you, yeah, thank you for bringing it up. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, I guess like I need to do some reading on the docs repo to understand uh, how can we help you make sure that like we update you when something changes, like when something gets updated. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the relevant discussion is here, I just posted in the notes so uh, that you don't need to go hunting for it. Sweet. Thank you. Okay, so we are a little bit over time. Um, Rob, feel free to ping me, uh, just pick time from my calendar and we can talk more about this. Uh, thank you so much for the update. Sorry for taking a little bit of extra time today. I think there's like a lot of updates and again, there's a lot of things landing. Um, yeah, excited to the next release of JSAPVS, the demos, MFS, private networks. It's like the month, like this is like the quarter of JSAPVS. Like there is so many things happening. The, uh, uh, just, just exciting. Cool. Have a great week, everyone. Does everyone feel that, like they know what's up this week? They, they, what do they have to focus on? All right. If not, just ping me through Calendly or IRC and we'll chat. Go team. Go team. Bye-bye. <laughs>